What's going on, LEGO fans? It's Star Tours 14 bringing you another LEGO set review today. And here we have the 2023 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack, which released on January 1st, 2023. It's meant for ages 6 plus, but it's just the age ranking that I kind of have to put that on there. Really, any age should play with this set. Set number 75345. 119 pieces, 4 minifigures with the 4 Clone Troopers there. You also get the cannon build there. Take a look at the back of the box here. It's showing just the clone troopers kind of around the cannon. This is an actual battle pack for LEGO Star Wars. It's not like the old 501st battle pack where it was really more of a set. And this is an actual battle pack. It does cost $20 in the United States of America. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at those minifigures. Alright, so the first minifigure in the set, which we actually get two of, is the First Order Heavy Trooper here. Uh, a very nice variation of the normal file First Clone Trooper. That's one thing I really do enjoy about the set, is just the we get the more variations of the troopers, which I feel like they used to do a little bit more with different colors, or they used to give them different accessories, and now they really just make one type. But I like that they're giving us more types of clone troopers now. Um, obviously some very nice printing on the legs. Um, different like sort of like armor and bandolier pieces on the torso which is very nice fortunately no printed arms which is kind of a disappointment but it's kind of expected going around to the back there's some more printing you can kind of see in the back but they also do have this nice backpack with a printed tile that is not a sticker that is a print which is amazing um to look like one of the backpacks that you'd see in may like star wars the clone wars tv show uh the helmet pretty similar to the normal helmets a little bit different up there at the top I can focus, and it does come with this blue visor piece, um, which is pretty nice. Um, and all these figures do have clips on their helmets to put attachments into, unlike the other troopers. Last thing to talk about this minifigure is its weapon. You do get that nice uh, weapon piece there with the binoculars as kind of like the barrel extension. And yeah, overall, I would say this is probably my favorite minifigure in this set. Um, you know, people can have your own opinions. I just think it's wonderfully printed and has a lot of nice details. But let's move on to our next figure. So right here we do have the Clone Commander, our second minifigure here in the set, in, even though we have two of the other gunners. Um, this guy has a little bit of different printing on the front with that kind of, with kind of the utility belt in blue and some different uh, printing up there on the armor. And then there is the leg printing here with small signs of a waist cape, but it doesn't continue on the back or on the sides. And it feel and I that's one thing I don't like about the set it makes this probably my least favorite minifigure in the set. Is it, the detail on the waist cape is enough? They could have used an actual waist cape. Um, moving up here, this helmet um, design is the exact same as the next minifigure we'll look at, and it's also very similar to the normal five hundred first clone trooper from a couple sets um except for that it does have helmet holes on the side and this guy does have that blue range finder which is very nice to see i don't think i showed it on the previous minifigure but all of them have the new clone faces and this guy just has the normal pistol style blaster and let's go ahead and look at our final minifigure our final minifigure here is the clone specialist um, very, very nice figure. I would say that this is behind the Heavy Trooper for me, but is definitely better than the Officer, in my opinion. Um, the leg print, same as, same as the, um, Heavy Troopers. Uh, torso print is very similar to the Officer, except for that it, the utility belt is just white, and there are some little markings. I also like that they do give this guy the blue arms. I feel like that makes the figure just pop out a little bit more. As far as a blaster goes, we have the longer style blaster plus the like black candle barrel piece. And then we can take a look here at the helmet, which I really like. So this is the exact same helmet as the officer. But on this figure, we do have this very nice um, binocular style piece on the top uh, that clips onto the clone trooper's head. This is really, really nice. You do actually do get a second one as an extra piece in the set, which I think is a really nice touch. But I like the way that this falls flush on the figure and looks very nice up there. And it also has a little bit of details on the top there. I don't know if you can see them very well. 
overall, the clone specialist, a very good figure. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the build. If you didn't realize it or you never played Star Wars Battlefront 2, the video game, you probably want to realize that these uh, figures do kind of correspond to that game. And uh, so is the normal 501st Leo Clone Trooper. Um, if you know, if you don't know anything about Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, basically in the game you can, when you're playing as like just troopers of any faction, you can choose between the assault trooper, the heavy trooper, the officer trooper, and the specialist trooper, which definitely look different and have different style weapons. These are direct, basically direct copies from the game of different clone trooper styles. The other normal file first trooper would be kind of the assault trooper. These guys would obviously be the heavies. Officer and specialist, but I just wanted to point out that I think it's really nice that they kind of made a set kind of corresponding a little bit to Star Wars Battlefront 2 because it is one of my favorite games, and I, I think it's just cool that they're going back and making some sets based on some games. Maybe they'll even make some more stuff based off of Jedi Fallen Order at some point. And here we have the build of the set, the small battle pack build. Uh, which seems to be a scaled-down version of the Republic AV-7 Cannon, which was a LEGO set that released back in 2014. And you can also see it throughout uh, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and I think even a little bit in Revenge of the Sith. Overall, I think this is a very nice build, and it's a pretty good one to include in the set. I can't really think of any other better small vehicle that they could have included. Um... Especially with there being like the ATRT and Bark Speeder in the previous uh, 501st Battle Pack. I don't think they can really pull that off again. But I think this is a really nice and sleek design. As you can see, there's not too many studs showing, especially when you look at it from the top. There are some on the side, but I think it's nice that it's all polished off. But I guess we can probably start down here with the legs. You can move them this way and this way using some connector pieces. Um, overall, they're okay. They are pretty sturdy, but you do have the help of this transparent piece on the bottom, which definitely helps keep it up. You can give it push on a little bit with that piece, which makes it feel just a little bit uh, weaker, but also sturdy at the same time. Um, moving on to the middle part here, we do see some small details with those kind of tooth pieces and the um, kind of maroon pieces scattered in there. There is seat for one minifigure there, so if we take like one of our, let's, if we take like our officer here, get him ready, cut this part out, you can just kind of slide them in there, it works pretty well, your minifigure is there on the side. The only issue I have with this is that there is no control panel, and I think when I talk about some stuff later that maybe I'd change with the set, this will definitely be in there. But it doesn't really feel like the minifigure is doing anything. It just kind of feels like they're sitting there to sit there. Um, you know, there's no panel. There's nothing on the side here. It just feels a little bit empty. Taking a look up here at the actual cannon part of the build, I think this is built very nicely, very compactly. Looks pretty great. You see there's some small details, such as that grill and the yellow piece down there. If you're looking at the barrel of the weapon here, um, they use a very nice, uh, like, technic -y system to use different pieces to kind of build it out and give it some texture. This nice bar piece up there to show the tip. Um, you can move this can. Um, there are just some, like, clip bar pieces down there, and you can move it kind of about 45 degrees, shooting straight or up. Um, not too much mobility, but I think it's an, uh, enough to, like, give it some more feeling. And obviously it does have a spring load shooter if you didn't know how that works. I mean, I assume you would, but if you don't, you just click on this back part here and it fires off. Place it this way. And bam, and then it's lost on your floor and you have to go get it. Let me go grab that real quick. Yeah, so overall the cannon is pretty great. Um, it could be a little bit better, but I think it suits this build uh, set pretty well. And overall I think it's just kind of a good thing to have. Let's uh, move into more of my thoughts and opinions about the set. Alrighty, so obviously as I expressed before, I think the set is pretty good. 8.5, maybe 9 out of 10. Definitely say it's not as good as the previous Final Fruits Battle Pack by any means, but it's still a pretty good set. Um, some things I'd say I'd maybe change about it. Obviously, I'd put a control panel up there on the cannon to actually make it feel like the, the driver's doing something. 
I would give the officer an actual waist cape. And, I don't know, that's kind of it. It's a pretty great set. And for $20, getting some extra clones there is pretty nice. Since they're not just normal clone troopers, it's, you know, it's not really amazing for army building. But army builders, you know, you could probably buy a couple of these and still have a pretty good result. But I think that's a pretty good set. And that wraps up the review here. So thank you guys very much for watching. You can check out the videos up there and down there. You can subscribe right there. And I will see you guys in upcoming videos. Goodbye.